All 16 Michigan Republicans accused in a fake elector scheme to keep former President Donald Trump in power are now challenging the charges in state court. Nine of those 16 were arraigned in court today, and all of them pleaded not guilty to forgery and conspiracy. Investigators say the group met at Republican Party headquarters after the 2020 election and signed a fake elector's document. Our Elle Myers was in the courtroom today. She joins us now from outside the courthouse in Lansing with more. All of the 16 alleged fake electors have pled not guilty. I was inside that courtroom today where nine of those involved in an alleged plot to award former President Donald Trump with Michigan's electoral votes saw their court cases proceed. Count one alleges that you did unlawfully conspire, combine, confederate, and agree together with Kathy Burden, Mayra Rodriguez, Michonne Maddock, and other persons to falsely make alter, forge, or counterfeit a public record with the intent to injure or defraud contrary to law. That is a, a felony that you attempted to defraud by the certificate of votes of the 2020 electors from Michigan. Last month, Michigan Attorney General Dina Nessel announced the charges against the 16 participants. At the time, calling Trump's actions an effort to, quote, reject the will of the voters. According to Nestle's office, the alleged fake electors met in the basement of the former Michigan GOP headquarters and signed fraudulent certificates claiming the GOP slate was legitimate. Those certificates were sent to the U.S. Senate and the National Archives. Nine participants appeared for arraignment today. Tenth alleged fake elector, William Choate, was scheduled to appear separately for a probable cause hearing, but he didn't show. Each member of the group appeared virtually and is looking at about eight felony charges. Most appeared with private attorneys, except Michelle Lundgren, who is using public defenders. Do you understand those rights, ma'am? Yes. None of the defendants are currently in custody. All have been awarded recognizance bonds of $1,000, which prohibit travel out of state without written permission of the court, and they cannot possess or purchase firearms. Additionally, any missed court dates put that bond at risk. The group is scheduled for two additional appearances in the month of August. Now that second appearance is scheduled for next week on August 18th where they may appear virtually, but they'll have to appear in person on August 28th. For now, reporting in downtown Lansing, I'm Mel Myers, CBS News, Detroit.